the 2023 Dodge Hornet's sting to your wallet is mild, for now. With pretty run-of-the-mill pricing for a compact SUV, the sporty Hornet prepares to hit dealerships. If you happen to hear some buzzing around Dodge, that's not because the new electric charger has finally arrived and is electrocuting someone. Instead, the 2023 Hornet has finally arrived and, boy, does it sting. Okay, we just wanted to make a bug sting reference. So far, Dodge is only outlining pricing and availability for the gas-only Hornet G and GT Plus, leaving the more powerful plug-in hybrid RT specifications for later. Dodge originally stated that the Hornet would cost less than $30,000, and technically it does, but the added destination charges of $1,595 elevates the entry-level Hornet GTs out the door price to $31,590. That's on par with entry-level pricing for compact SUVs such as the Honda CRV, a pleasant surprise given the Hornet's standard horsepower and sporty bent. To get the slightly better equipped Hornet GT Plus with the same engine, you'll pay at least $36,590. The main differences between the GT and GT Plus are that the latter comes with a heated steering wheel, a heated and ventilated 8-way power driver's seat, heated and ventilated front passenger seat, remote start, and a power sunroof. You can option the GT with all but the power sunroof by going with the cold weather group option for $495 on top of the MSRP. The other catch is that there are only two standard colors, 8-ball black and Q-ball white. If you want another exterior paint, other colors are an upcharge at $495, gray cray, blue bayou blue, and hot tamale red, and $595, blue steel, Acapulco gold. Both the 2023 Dodge Hornet GT and GT Plus come with a 2.0-liter turbocharged Hurricane 4i4 engine that produces 265, plus, HP and 295 pound-feet of torque. That engine is then mated to the 948TE9 speed transmission, a ZF unit developed in 2011 but launched in mid-2013. It's the same transmission used in the Jeep Cherokee KL along with the Hurricane 4 engine beginning in 2019 for the Cherokee. The 948TE is designed for front-wheel drive-based applications, with a transfer case that can deliver torque to a rear axle. It can decouple the rear drive when it's not needed for better fuel economy. Adding some performance and features. The Track Pack, a $2,995 upgrade will get you a set of 20 by 8 inch abyss wheels with 235 50ths R20 all-season tires. Well, that's if you're building a GT+. To get the track pack for the GT, you also need to add the cold weather group to your build, so the full upgrade cost for the GT is actually $3,490. The GT Plus gets one additional option for its track pack upgrade, for another $495, the GT Plus track pack can get red full leather seating. Other than those two additions, the track pack is the same for both Hornets and includes red painted and Dodge logo calipers, bright finished pedals, dual mode suspension, a sporty leather steering wheel, and aluminum door sills. Both GT and GT Plus can also option for the Tech Pack Plus, a $2,245 upgrade that includes Adosh features drowsy driver detection, intelligent speed assist, park sense front and rear, rear park assist with automatic braking, and a surround view camera system. Unfortunately, neither the GT or GT Plus get the option of the parallel and perpendicular park assist with this package. Where's the RT pricing? For now, Dodge is being cagey on the pricing of the Hornet RT, despite what other outlets are reporting with a spokesperson stating that pricing for the Dodge Hornet RT has not been officially announced. While we're still waiting on the pricing, the Hornet RT will be an AWD PHEV model that is powered by a 1.3-liter turbocharged i4 with a 121-horsepower electric motor powering the rear wheels. This along with the starter generator unit gives the RT a combined 285 plus HP and 383 pound-feet of torque. 